The detention officer is off the job, facing charges for allegedly lying about how much work she was actually doing. Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt says that she stole tens of thousands of dollars in overtime pay. And the sheriff spoke exclusively with Channel 2's Michael Seiden. Michael, this live at the Fulton County Jail. Michael, you learned that the investigation started because the sheriff was looking into giving his deputies better pay. And Justin, more on that in a moment, but I want to tell you, we came out here to the jail this afternoon. We've really been out here all day waiting for this former detention officer to bond out. We wanted to get her side of the story, but according to jail records at this hour, she remains behind bars. But as you mentioned, Sheriff Pat Labot, he has been outspoken, obviously getting uh, better pay benefits overtime for his men and women. And during that time, he conducted uh, an internal audit. And it was at that point that they realized that this former former detention officer had received nearly two times her entire salary just in overtime alone. It's physically impossible for someone to work those kinds of hours. That's how Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labot responded after I asked him about the stunning allegations against his now former detention officer seen here in this mugshot. On Wednesday, Juanquila Anthony waived her first court appearance, but newly released court documents accused the 33-year-old of submitting fraudulent timesheets that investigators say allowed her to collect tens of thousands of dollars in overtime pay for work she never completed. It looks like in excess of $130,000 off of a base salary that is 50,000 that this particular young lady had falsified documents, forged those documents, and in fact was still in time. Sheriff Labot says this criminal investigation began last month after his office launched an internal audit looking specifically at which employees were earning the most overtime pay. Investigators say Anthony topped that list. In fact, according to the arrest affidavit, an official in HR contacted her to inquire about the name of the sergeant who had signed the time adjustment sheet. But the sergeant denied signing her timesheets, telling the investigators that he had not worked with her since 2021. Now, Court documents also show the sergeant signed a blank timesheet and compared the signatures, which appeared different. We've also learned investigators spoke with multiple officials, including a second sergeant who gave this account about Anthony. She frequently calls out, saying her husband is sick and has to have surgery. Now, the sergeant also says she took a vacation day last month, but when they checked her timesheet, she claimed to have worked 17 hours that day. This is not representative of the hundreds of women and men that work for the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. This, I believe, is an outlier where somebody got greedy. Channel 2's Michael Seiden back with us live. So, Michael, it took an audit to catch this. So what is the Sheriff's Office doing moving forward to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again? And Justin, I posed that exact question to the sheriff. He said, first and foremost, he says there are going to be several officials in his office that will have new responsibilities, really keeping track of audit and seeing where this overtime pay is going. He also said, though, this was an important step because it shows that they are doing the right thing here. And when he says officials, they're making sure that they're not wasting taxpayer dollars. He also told me there's some new technology. He didn't really elaborate specifically what it is, but he says the county will be using that. But again, he made it very clear that this is not a representation of the hundreds of men and women who work here every single day. He said he is glad that they were able to get this bad apple out. And of course, as soon as she bonds out, we will hopefully get a statement from her. Justin? An outlier, no doubt. Michael Seiden, thank you.